Hey y'all, what's going on? Hope all is well with you. Hope you're having a wonderful day, evening, night, whenever you're hearing this, okay? Frequency high. Make sure you're keeping your frequency high right now. Make sure you're keeping your energy clear and clean, okay? Cleanse your space. <clears throat> Remove any negative energy from you. Mercury is definitely in retrograde. Make sure you're double checking um, any paperwork or contracts that's needing to sign, any new people that's coming into your life or old people. Just, you know, use your discernment and make sure that they have pure intentions for you, okay? Not everybody coming back to you has pure intentions, but not everybody that's coming back to you um, has evil intentions. You have to use the gift of discernment. Learn how to trust yourself. Love yourself, okay? Right now is a powerful time, magical time for you, okay? And you can't tell me otherwise. Look, wounded healer flew out, all right? Wounded healer. Somebody is needing to lick their own wounds to heal themselves, to put a little extra loving into themselves today, tomorrow, whenever you're hearing this, okay? It's time to take some time out. For yourself and whatever makes you feel good because some people you know put on a pretty dress get their hair done and they feel better some people are needing a little bit more death so it all just depends on you because everybody has their own way of healing themselves but somebody is here meant to heal the world but first you need to heal yourself the numbers 15 or 6 could be relevant um, we also have the number 7 good juju good juju Okay, you have good karma on your side. Good things are beginning to happen for you in your favor. You could be seeing a number 777. Something is about to manifest for you that you've been praying for, that you've been hoping for. It's about to just work out. But while it's happening, you need to let go and sur surrender through the process. If you're buying a car and you're sitting there and you don't know if your credit going to go through, surrender it to spirit and say, you know what? I trust your spirit. This is going to work out. Think for the better. Don't let them doubts and stuff start to creep in and interfere with the with the outcome because you're a powerful manifester right now. That's why you're seeing 777 and seeing all these synchronicities and stuff like that. Some type of secrets is about to be revealed. This is the season of receiving, but this is also the season of um, things being revealed. Whatever has been in the dark, whatever has been kept from you is about to be revealed. Somebody could be about to speak something that they have been holding in for a long time or um, they've been feeling the age, the age or number 36 can mean something or the number one with seasons, okay? Your ancestors have been praying for you, guiding you, helping you to get to this point, especially like a grandmother. We got Nana here, okay? You have to be fearless right now. You are beautiful. You are love. You are pure. You are natural. You are the mirror, okay? And you what you mirror whatever you're feeling inside you're mirroring it out to the world okay so make sure that is you know of high vibration or just pure intent we got sacred lust oh yeah somebody coming in man they gonna be creative about it all right you got manifestations about to pour upon you it's about the rain upon you manifestations um things that you've been praying for is just about to pour upon you your harvest season is here. Your ancestors said no more worries, no more weight, joy, feel happy. Already feel the happiness and joy, okay, and the pleasure because you're about to get and receive everything you want. You are safe. You are protected. You are loved. You have ancestors guiding you, protecting you, loving you. They, got, they guided you to this point so that you can start getting everything you want, okay? <laughs> That's funny because I'm not even about to use this deck with this. But on top, it says, I have the ring already. So for some of you, this is with love. Some of you, it's with career. Some of you, it's with all of the above. Look, we got the two of pentacles, okay? Somebody could have been juggling or trying to find balance here, especially when it comes to financial situations and stuff like that, or two different people, or just two different things. Some type of balance is about to be restored, okay? What else? Yeah, so we got the Sage of Swords, and we got the Seven of Pentacles. If you look how different these cards is, it's giving, like, daddy and mommy energy, okay? Look, daddy is willing to get his hands dirty so mommy hands can stay clean, 
okay or mommy can take care of the kids like this woman is pregnant with two different two kids a boy and a girl and daddy is hard at work okay but daddy has found some type of clarity and no this ain't no spirit baby reason reading but this is just the energy that is given and daddy has found some type of clarity here <laughs> uh-huh i'm talking about major clarity and this person is working on being able to speak their truth they have something that they want to tell you and they're ready to speak their truth this person wants to invest in you and not just invest in you not just invest in you seven look seven seven i'm telling you not just invest in you this person is ready to take that leap of faith with this partnership. They see you as the person they want to be with forever that they can grow with. Like this, like your soil is fertilized. They can plant their seed in your garden and it will grow beautifully. Because they watched you. They watched you for a long time. That king of swords watched you for a long time. And they watched how you turned something from nothing you then took some strawberry seeds from your strawberries you just ate and then grew a whole nother strawberry bush like you're able to turn something into nothing i meant from nothing into something mm -hmm. and wherever they were at was barren they had something and left with nothing you get what i'm saying and even if they have nothing i feel like they're trying to work on having something they've been working on trying to have something so that when they come they don't just have nothing but i feel like you would accept them because i feel like you also know that they can turn nothing into something make sure you're taking your time to really think about what you're saying at this time too we in mercury retrograde listen y'all something is about to be revealed somebody is about to take a leap of faith with this partnership they've been working on it for a while behind the scenes okay but I feel like now they're ready to open up and come, come clean. They're about to speak their truth. They're going to express themselves. Okay? This person has grown a lot. The Sage of Pentacles, which is also the King of Pentacles. This person has been working on themselves. Trust me. They went through some type of betrayal. Some type of secret with a third party. Three of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Look, third party. Somebody that they were dating may have been messing with another person. I don't want to keep showing all these cards because, you know, some of them is a little naked or whatever. <laughs> but anyway, um, they went through some type of betrayal with somebody. And it, it helped this person to grow wiser, though. Sometimes, you know, you got to get your heart broken in order to see clear. But something has been revealed that has, like, made this masculine felt stabbed in the back. Could have been with people that they, they know as well. Yeah, it's almost like they had to pull them own them knives out of their own back. Could have been multiple people. Yeah, look, this person was trying to find balance. They were juggling, trying to find balance and couldn't find balance. And I feel like now they're finally starting to find balance. Okay, now that they, some type of secret has been revealed. Because it was very burdensome. Things have been... Whatever this was, was heartbreaking, devastating, burdensome. They didn't see this coming. Ten of wands, three of swords, two of swords. They didn't see this coming. It knocked them off a of balance. They had to heal their heart. They needed time to heal. It was something that they didn't see coming that happened. Um, and after that, that is when they will try to come to you and um, resolve this and talk to you about what's been going on with them and um they feel like you're their other half you match their energy but this person was actually protecting you from the snake that they had wrapped around them they didn't know that they had a snake it was like this person lured them in led them to believe that they were one way all the while sinking their teeth into them and keeping them under their like under their uh spell mm-hmm and you know it was all for the money but i feel like this person wants a long-term commitment with you um 10 10 you could be seeing the numbers 10 10 you could be seeing 11 11 you could be seeing all the numbers um but i feel like you've been seeing a lot of synchronicities and stuff because it's a lot that's happening behind the scene like so much you know and spirit is protecting you from a lot of it 
Because a lot of because you need to stay in high vibration so you can continue to create the life that you're trying to manifest for yourself. Ten of Pentacles, you you're about to go from Ten of Swords feeling like betrayed or hurt. Um, this could even have been at a workplace or something too. Um, family life, feeling betrayed or hurt to feeling like you're finally where you want to be at. The house, the, the cars, the babies, um, the animals, the one happy family, building your own legacy. This person wants this that too, the two of vessel. This person wants just the same as you want. This person is now, when they come into you, they're going to come in balanced, okay? They're going to come in more balanced. They're going to be willing to pour into you as much as you pour into them. They know that you have this like unconditional love. You have this beautiful love to you. Um, Mother of Cups, okay, which is also the Queen of Cups, Seven of Wands. They want to protect that. They want to protect you from this snake. Look, they want to protect you from this snake that has been trying to block your manifestations and cause extra burdens on you. But um, you too balanced for all that. You too protected for all of that. Whatever was happening in the past where, you know, when you weren't aware of what was going on, you know, you weren't able to really protect yourself as much, but your spirit team still had your back. They may have allowed certain things to touch you just a little bit so that you can be aware that it's there. <laughs> okay. And then once you were aware that it was there, now it can't even come in nowhere near your aura. Nowhere near your home, your car, your kids, your spouse. Continue to pray for your person so that they can get up out of that situation. They definitely protecting you from that snake. The whole time they thought they was protecting that person from you. And the whole time they was protecting the snake. But now that they realize that they're on their way towards you. This person no longer wants them and no longer wants to miss an opportunity with you. They want to give back to you, okay? They want to give back to you, but they had to walk away from the other person that they were once given to. And then walking away is going to lead them to victory and success, okay? So hold on and have faith. Everything that you want is here for you. You're about to have wishes at the wishes at the wishes being fulfilled, okay? Spirit is definitely... Um, making this happen for you. And some of you are going into some type of initiation to come into union, to start a contract with each other before you and your whole spirit team, okay? And this is about to happen quickly. So be prepared. I'm telling you, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready, okay? So say a prayer for yourself and your person. Be kind and gentle to yourself and your person. Namaste.